first stage in preparing product for painting is removing scaling and any other loose surface material to give the powder coat an even, stable surface to adhere to. This is accomplished using the wheel abrader. This room-sized machine works just like a giant sandblaster, but uses tiny, abrasive steel shot instead of sand to remove the top layer of metal from the steel frames. Wheel braiding leaves the frames with a smooth, even surface, ideal for powder coating. Frames are then hung on a conveyor belt that first runs them through a five-stage washer. The washer uses a light detergent to remove any dust, dirt, or oils that remain on the frames. A rust prevention undercoat is also applied to further ensure the durability of the powder coating. Once through the washer and prior to entering the drying oven, each piece is blown off using compressed air. This ensures that when it emerges from the drying process, no water remains hung up on the welds or anywhere else. Following the drying oven, frames climb the conveyor belt into the powder coating booth. Powder coat paint is far superior to wet spray painting as it results in a more consistent and even coat, free of drips or runs. Powder coat painting is, as the name suggests, painting using a dry, powdered polymer paint that is applied electrostatically. As the powder is blown through the gun, it is given a static charge that helps the paint adhere to the frame. A skilled painter can quickly and thoroughly cover each frame with a consistent, even layer, producing the best results possible. Frames then continue on the conveyor belt and pass slowly through a curing oven. Inside the 360 degree oven, the powdered paint goes through a chemical reaction that causes it to simultaneously melt and dry into the even, resilient finish that powder coating is known for. Once out of the oven, Frames that are receiving a standard finish powder coat only are moved into the assembly department. Frames that are getting a premium or hand painted finish go to the hand paint area. The more than half dozen hand painted finishes involve anywhere from one to five steps in order to reach the desired look. A lacquer finish ensures their durability.